Okay, this is how I recommend people think about bending. Um, uh, for starters, I think about it like a, a, an uppercut with an added extension of the fingers in the uppercut motion. So, so that way you get the whole arm involved. It's like you're turning the forearm and you're bringing the elbow into your side possibly at the same time and you're extending the fingers and at the same time you're squeezing with your thumb. And a good way to visualize this on the neck is just start from the hand perpendicular to the neck and then just squeeze the thumb just a little bit and bring the palm up to the bottom of the neck like that and then kind of do it like this so start with the fingers kind of curled and then extend like that all together on en ensemble <clears throat> and then while you're working on bending technique go ahead and work at the 12th fret because that's the easiest place to do it. That's the least of amount of tension on the string is here at the 12th fret. The farther you go down that way, the more the tension increases and likewise the other direction. So, and so uh, G strings, I mean, you could, any, either of the strings, but any of the like, top three strings, but. It's good to start with all your fingers and maybe, maybe we'll just do a little half step bend. So what I'm going to do is just say, oh, hey, there's my note at the 13th fret. So I'm going to bend to that. And I'm just pushing just a little bit with my thumb. And I'm just pushing a little bit with the twist of the form. Just a little bit. So, and then, then go for a whole step bend. So go two frets higher. It's going to have a little more rotation. But I'm also pushing with the fingers as well. And then try it with just three fingers. Half step bend. One thing that I've been working on lately is because I have the habit of kind of pulling my fourth finger out of the way that's a sort of bad habit I think from when I was a kid is that I like to I'll practice this sometimes it's like it's literally like pretending to let the fourth finger help out because that way at least it's extending at the same time so I got that half step in I don't know if I can undo those years of habits but and then whole step end I'm oh, sorry with three three fingers same deal and then try it on the B string I, I moved my thumb you can see a little bit I had it a little bit back here and I moved it I, I was, didn't feel like I had quite enough squeezing so I moved it a little bit in And then the same deal. So it's that. Okay.